Hello. Sir. Hello. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you, mister. Here, have this for my gratitude. Please. Appreciate it. You be careful now. Sound and ease breeds sickness. So much for the future. Hey, partner. All right, girl. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why 
did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. What do you want from me? Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Leave the horses here. Good one. 
This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. to drink. Friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here! Come on, let's see if that gate's open! Locked! Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it! Come on. We best stick to the side!
with me. Back to Dutch. Oh. It's okay, girl. I think we lost. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Come on! Stop riding like a damn fool! Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? Let's get this done. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Everything. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just on, simple sir. country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Mean 
your pa deal with them? I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. How about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Party air? Look out, <laughs> Dance Arthur. away! Woo! Un par de ojitos negros, el cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 canta y no llores porque... All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks. Hey, Arthur, I left those arrows by your tent. Appreciate it. You okay? Howdy, Mr. Morgan. You must be starving, son. Let me get you some. Are you things. holding up? Thanks, Mom. This is going my way for can once. I play a of course you can. Well done, John. 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 Well done, John.
There he is. Hello, Arthur. How are things? Happy as a clam at high water. Glad to hear it. All right, Arthur. Hi, Miss Grimshaw. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. I feel like I can breathe again. There she is. Oh, no. Good times, Arthur. I'm sorry, How are you doing? Was... Good, thanks. I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, they, he shot the rope. Clean to it. Instead, they hanged the chef. I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Hey, folks. Hi, Arthur. How are you? Hello. All right, I guess. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Arthur. Come on. Let's leave him to play a minute. Welcome home, little Jack. All right. Reckon I'm gonna turn in. Hey, y'all. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Good old man. I make you feel good or make you feel sad. Or just the length of time between us. I bet. The bastard off to sea with that little ribbon top he had in the cold and navy blue. Let him climb the rope. Daddy, kind of you. Ain't no heaven.
life for a damn census taker. If you're in this state for the federal government, you're an enemy of this state. You know why you're here, don't you? Stay back! You're an agent of the government Get away, in the free I ain't state of Lemoyne. Oh, oh, God. Fuck. Please don't do this. Lord. Thank you, stranger. These raiders are insane. This don't look I good. What medicine. happened? Here, drink up. Oh. Oh. oh, thank you. Reckon I was done for there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I had a bite of that plan over there and. It hit my guts like a freight train. Ah, oh, it's that little one over there with the pink flowers. I'd stay well clear of that if I was you. Yeah, I think you've sold me on that plan. Tell me about it. There we go. 